So this is a AMX Netlinx NX-3200 and another controller unit I'm tearing down. I am going to be selling this so it's not a total teardown, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to look inside of this one as well. This one, compared to the 4200 I tore down, doesn't have the display, and that I'm guessing is probably going to be the only difference? I'm not sure. This one also is only DC power, so it requires an external 12 volt power supply. The housing doesn't have the vent holes on the top like the 4200 did. And this clearly is using a different PCB because on the 4200 the brains were right here, not over here. Also had a bigger PCB and a little bit more going on. Same uh, extrude aluminum mounts for the screws, which is uh, interesting. Also just noticed that this uh, display panel is shifted over because it was a little bit further over this way. Maybe about right there on the 4200. So definitely less complex. And I will grab the 4200 just to show some of the differences, I think, since I have it right here. So it looks like for the I.O. it might have the same amount of stuff. Basically just shift that over and oh. There's four lights here for ICS LAN instead of one, so there's a difference. Also, the uh, 3200 doesn't have a power button. Not that the power button seems to do anything, because this one doesn't boot, and when I hold the power button down, it doesn't turn off either. So, that's kind of, uh, yeah, a shame. And on the back, we'll see if we can do this one-handed. It's like almost the same complement of I.O. until you get to the ICS LAN and you'll notice this has one that has four. I think this might be capable of running off of uh, 12 volt. Although I'm not sure what that would mean for the 56 volt portion of the unit. I probably should have left the top off this one so I could do a comparison but I already put it back together before making this video. Wasn't something I originally thought of, but um, yeah, so that's kind of weird. I'm not sure why they did this, because I would assume if you have a power supply that can run 12 volts, then you'd also have access to wall, standard wall power, so it's kind of an odd design there. But at least you know what it looks like on the inside now, and uh... I will get some close-ups here once I move the NX4200 out of the way. Alright, I'm just going to fly over this with the camera. And there's the uh, controller board. Or the brains of the, I guess I should say, of, of the board. Another one of those weird breakout panel things. And it looks like this is an interchangeable part because it does have uh, holes in it for where the status and power button would have been on the 4200. Which isn't too surprising. They're the same series, so I would assume some of this stuff's interchangeable. Without taking a close look, I would guess that this top board here is probably uh, the same between the units as well. But yeah, short and sweet. Hopefully that was uh, interesting, and thanks for watching.